After three straight years, the possession of the bell exchanges hands and goes to the victorious DePaul Tiger football team and standing with the winning head coach, Nick Morozis, as Tommy Mott. Time for us. We lost the last three. The players won it for themselves, and all the seniors that lost the last three. And last year, we should have won a game because we had 454 yards there, 186, and lost in the last quarter when they scored 17 points on us. Well, I thought you were playing with a lot of emotion out there, Coach. Well, we really were. Our kids were ready today, and they weren't going to be denied, and they did a great job of uh, hanging in there with some great hitting. Outstanding hitting is an outstanding football game. It's a great rivalry, a great tradition, and a great game. Well, the, the Paul coaching staff did themselves up well along with the players, and congratulations and from all the old coaches and alumni and everybody. It was great. Thank you very much, <laughs> Coach. Good to see you. Okay, back here again, and it's been our pleasure to work with two fine people, Tommy Mott and Steve Wilt, and we've enjoyed this telecast. The final score here from Blackstock Stadium in Greencastle, Indiana, the DePaul Tigers 33, the Wabash Little Giants 11. Good afternoon. Ring the bell for Wabash, ring for old DePaul. Ring the bell for victory in the last game of the fall. Never quit fighting for the prize. The medal to the 